Hello everyone. Just a casual talk. Have you ever thought why you are unable to speak in English? Have you ever thought why you have fear? Have you ever thought why you are not able to talk like others? Well then, welcome. My name is Preeti Veronica and I am a lecturer in English and I am from Vishakhapatnam. Okay. You might have understood my intention behind this talk could be that how to speak in English. Well, we all know that English can be learned in any place, be it in a coaching center, be it in a classroom or be it while conversing with foreign people. But today I would like to give you three tips on how to speak beautiful English. Okay, let us take this statement. We think in our brains that whenever we are hungry, we are hungry. But do you understand the language of your mind? If you are a Telugu speaking person, you will say, Nak chala aklas tundi. In Hindi, you will think in your brain, Mujhe bohat bhook lag rahe. And if you are a Tamilian, you will say, Yenik pasi ki de. Okay? Now do you see the relation? You think in your brain, in your mother tongue. But when you speak in English, you try to translate it into English. So, the biggest tip to speak good English is that you have to think in English. Yes, I am right. Think in English. Do you think it's possible? Of course. If I could think in English from the time I was 16, so can you. So, try and practice thinking in English. Initially, you might feel it very difficult. You might be searching for words in the dictionary. But because we have Google Translate app now, you can just feed in whatever that you want to be translated into English and you can come up with amazing words. So get the first point, thinking in English. And the second point, after you start thinking in English, sometimes you might feel it's very difficult to continue to think. Okay, take a break. But don't forget, get back to it and start thinking in English. This is one of the tips that I have learned from some people who are very influential in my life. And second tip, converse in English. Of course, this is a common method that everybody tells. But I am saying converse with everybody whom you know to, in English. I have a faculty member, my colleague, who started learning English at the age of 45. She knew English, but she never conversed. When I started inspiring her, she started speaking in English and now she has a PhD for herself. Okay. And the third point is listening. Listening is a very important task. If you don't want to listen to English news, at least listen to English songs. In that way, you can improve your English very well. And at the same time, try to have a writing skill. Take a journal. Note down everything so that you can have writing practice every day which is not academic. So there you have the three tips for speaking good English. Thank you. I'll see you very soon.